Hey everyone, this is Ben Pierce from Urban Vinyl Daily's Weekly Wrap-Up here at DesignerCon 2016 in Pasadena. I'm here with so, a, a jokester, also, <laughs> no, also known as Sket. How's it going, everybody? What's up? He wants to know how you are, but how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Things are good. No complaints. Having fun. Checking yeah. out DesignerCon. Yeah. Uh, don't have a booth. I avoid a booth because I like to see everybody rather than sit at a table and sell wares. So... So, walking around, we saw that you have at least one piece here, the Brick Mad L. How was working on Jeremy's new plaster brick platform? It was definitely different, you know, um, as far as customizing it. For me, I wanted to leave brick, you know, because mm -hmm. that was, you know, the other element to, that was something different. So I wanted some raw brick to keep showing. Instead of actually, like, painting it, I wanted to go, like, and doing just you know regular graffiti, I wanted to go sort of like a wheat paste route, mm -hmm. something different, something new that I haven't done in the past. And uh, I don't know, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I know I talked to Jeremy about getting a couple blanks, but I guess those don't exist. But they may at one point. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of selfish about that. <laughs> so uh, other customs you have, we saw there was a Nutella that came out recently. Yes. Are there is. any others that people should be on the radar for? Um, definitely, definitely. I'm going to come out with, um, I think next I'm going to do a Skippy peanut butter. Um, sort of the exact same mold as the Nutella. I'll switch up the colors and of course it will come with a little jar of Skeddy peanut butter. <laughs> Crunchy or smooth? It's going to be smooth. Okay. You know, got to go classic. I'm a classic person. So, um, so we're going to do that and then I'll probably dive into, um, jelly after that. Um, we'll play with materials again and go back to you know, making clear and messed up clear and more of a, a used version. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Jelly flavor? No, just straight up like jelly. Great, like grape or? Yeah. Oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> I was confused for a second. <laughs> Strawberry? Yes. No, no, it's going to be grape. Raspberry? It's got to be grape. It's got to be grape. So we've noticed that when you're not doing custom toys, you're out jet setting <laughs> <laughs> around Long Beach <laughs> doing murals. Uh, yeah, if I get a chance, I'm, I'm trying to do more mural artwork. Um, of course, I'm still sticking in the graffiti from time to time, but for me, it's I, 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 I kind of have an ADD. If I'm not working on customs, I want to work on something else. If I'm not designing uh, something, I'm, I'm over here. So um, the mural aspect of things is letting me to you know, travel and uh, giving me room to go bigger than I've gone in the past. So it's, uh, it's a challenge and I'm starting to really, really enjoy it, you know. We've heard that if given the opportunity, you'd go to Singapore to uh, stretch your wings. I'd go anywhere over in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> the Philippines trip that I did a couple of years ago was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I've never been to Japan, Singapore, China, Tokyo, whatever you want to say. and. I just, there's a lot of people over there I know that collect work and that are, you know, into what we do. And I would just like to connect with those people, you know, because I think within the United States, I've gone to all the cons, I've taken part in cons, and uh, I've got to meet people. And uh, I would just like to get over to that side of the world. Even in England, you know, back in the early, well, actually late 2008, 2007, spent a lot of time in England. So that was really cool too. So. Right now, I feel like over on that side of the world is where things are starting to regenerate for our culture. So, so anything else that you want to talk about as far as maybe toys that are coming out, or is it just the customs, the prints, the stuff that's on your website with the flags? Yeah, for the most part, I'm doing stuff on my own. I might journey into something, you know, with Kid Robot or somebody else. Um, right now, I don't have any plans, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see. He's, o he's open for hire is what we're hearing. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, if you guys want to do something, somebody wants to get at me, feel free. Hit me up. Yeah. I'm always up for fun stuff. As long as it's fun. Don't make it a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Had enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sket, thanks for uh, taking some time with us. Any closing marks for the fans? Uh, thank you. Just thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Again, Sket One here at DesignerCon 2016. End of the Weekland Wrap-Up. Have a good day.
Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens from Token Nerd Podcast, and I'm here today to tell you something about sponsorship. That's right, Token Nerd now has a sponsor. The fine folks at TenaciousToys.com, your source for designer toys, pop vinyl, original art, and more, are now our sponsor. And guess what? As a part of that, you can get 10% off your next order at TenaciousToys.com by entering the code TOKEN10 at checkout. That's right, 10% off. And not only are they giving you this code, they're also going to be sponsoring many of our token nerd giveaways in the next coming months. So make sure to follow us at token underscore nerd on Instagram to catch our latest giveaway. All right. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. This is Ben Pierce from Urban Vinyl Daily's Weekly (laughs) Wrap-Up. What's up, Ben? (laughs) You're way too serious. Come on, relax a little bit. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah, just slow down.